She has four this season, one in Pac-12 play against Arizona. Coach, yeah. you know, at Cal for 12 years, has done a great job. Yeah, nice read by Sabrina Inescu. There's a little drop down. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode two of Inside the Film Room. We're going to be breaking down pocket passing in the pick and roll with Sabrina Ionescu, who's going to go down as one of the greatest college basketball players of all time. The main teaching point that I want to break down here when it comes to pocket passing, or really just in general, when you're able to get downhill off a ball screen, is keeping your body going towards the basket. So your chest facing towards the rim, so you're a threat to score. So you're able to put pressure on the defense, keep them on, your, on their heels, right? So you have that ability to score or to pass. So you'll see here, number one, when you're utilizing the ball screen is just setting it up. So Sabrina does a great job of just utilizing her pace. She does a great job with skip hesitation where she's able to keep her feet, you know, kind of off the floor. So she's able to stay explosive, but also utilizing hesitation to keep her defender off balance and to just you know, really slow down her pace and be able to make reads. So she's gonna set up her defender, take her into the screen. They're gonna chase her over the top. It's very hard to go under on Sabrina because she's such a good shooter. So as she comes off the screen here and she's able to get her chest you know, downhill facing towards the basket with the defense and drop coverage, she's able to now keep her chest, her body going towards the basket. So she's a threat to score. But this is, a, again, an essential teaching point for young players because a lot of the times when I see young players make pocket passes, they open up their body to make that pass. So when you do that, you're essentially telegraphing the pass. You're allowing the defense to recover a lot easier because you're telling them that you're making the pass. And then you're also taking away your ability to be a threat to score. So you want to be able to keep your chest going towards the basket, play at a slow pace, coming off the level of the screen, you know, be able to slow down, you know, your decision making, whether you are going to try to score or in these clips, you know, being able to make this pass. So keeping your chest going towards the basket, right, putting the defense, especially this defender and drop coverage on her heels, you're going to open up this window where you're able to make this pocket pass. So she comes off, utilizes skip hesitation. She keeps her chest, her body going towards the basket. You're putting the drop defender here on her heels and you're opening up this window here for the roller, the screener to roll, right? And then again, making that pass right across the body, leading her with the pass where she's able to finish at the rim. Same thing in this next clip. Again, just setting up. And again, Sabrina does a great job with skip hesitation, just skipping, you know, utilizing the hesitation, keeping her feet, you know, off the ground, keeping them very, you know, I call it bouncy because, you know, and keep it instead of having your feet just hard pressed to the floor, keeping your feet off the ground. So you're able to change speeds, change direction quickly and explosively. So she's able to come off. Again, great screen. She's able to turn the corner, get her chest towards the basket. And now you got this, the screener's defender in a deep drop. So again, Sabrina has, you know, all the time, all the space in the world here to make a play for herself to get into her pull-up game or finish at the second level. But again, she's a very unselfish player making that pass. But again, keeping her shoulders going towards the basket, which is keeping the drop defender engaged because you got to respect her ability, you know, to potentially go up for that shot. But now she's able to make that pass across her body, you know, kind of goes with the no-look pass and then allows her teammate to finish at the rim. So just a great job, a good pace, right? Keeping your body, you know, keeping her body going towards the basket where she's always a threat to score, which is going to open up those windows to make those passes. So again, you know, you're, you're keeping the defense in a guessing game, keeping them at, on their heels at all times. So you're putting a lot of pressure. Anytime you're able to get downhill, keep your chest, your body going towards the basket, right? You never want, again, don't open up your body to make these passes. Always keep your body going towards the rim to be a threat to score where you do have that ability to, to create a shot or now have the ability to, to make that pocket pass, right? Or other passes, you know, any other kickouts to your teammates. So last clip here, and they set a flat ball screen at the top of the key. So again, she's able to, able to keep her chest, her body going towards the basket. She does, again, a great job of just skip hesitation, again, keeping her feet off the ground, utilizing that hesitation, and especially on this side of the floor, strong side of the floor, where it's a little bit more crowded, right? You want to be able to, again, play at a slow pace, be able to go through your progressions. You can see the drop coverage defender has to stay on her heels, 
right, as she continues to probe that basketball. And now again, you're opening up that window to make this pocket pass. She does a great job of leading with the pass. So leading her teammate with the pass. So, you know, the roller can just literally, you know, roll right into the pass or dive right into the pass, catch, gather, and go up and finish. So again, those three clips, hopefully that shows you, you know, when you're utilizing a ball screen to come off, you know, one, you want to set up and try to get your defender to go into the screen, right? And then as you come off, you turn the corner and you have that ability to now, you know, get, get your body going towards the basket, keep your chest, your shoulders, your, your whole body facing towards the basket, play at a slow pace, right? Read the floor, utilize your eyes. And then especially open, and when you open up that window and you see your roller, you know, rolling or diving towards the basket, be able to keep your chest, your body facing the rim and then be able to make that pass across your body. So again, those are the main teaching points within the pocket pass. And hopefully you take away something from this episode.